Hey guys, Coach Katie here with Coach Josh. We're gonna show you this week's density set workout. So I was gonna have um, six stations, 90 seconds at each station, two exercises at each. You'll count your reps, you'll keep going back and forth between those two exercises uh, until that 90 seconds is up. And we're gonna go through the room two times. You ready, Josh? Yeah, let's go. Okay. Here on the ropes, first you're gonna do 10 rope slams. So remember, with each rope slam, it's as hard as you can slam it 10 times. You can sit your butt back as you slam. Make each slam count. 10 slams. Then you're gonna come over to the wall and you're gonna do those pro hop, pro step wall balls. So, you're gonna hop into the wall here and slam it. You're letting go of the ball. Notice how Josh is holding the ball at his hip. He hops into the wall, two hops in, and rotates through to slam the wall. You're gonna do five of these in one direction. Then you're gonna come back and do 10 more slams. When you go back to the wall balls, face the other direction, you get five on the other side, so we get to work both sides there. Okay, back and forth on those two. Over here, on the bars for station number two, you will do landmine squat press five times. So, hold that bar your chest, squat down, drive up, and here you wanna come up to your toes so that you get full extension all the way up, and you're already ready to drive that bar up as soon as you're coming out of that squat. Five of those. Then you're gonna do bent over row. So notice how Josh is facing one direction here. Feet are nice and squared up, soft bend in the knees, and he's squeezing his shoulder blade for that bent over row, bringing his hand up to his armpit here, keeping that chest up, flat back here. You're gonna do five on one, then you're gonna switch sides and get five on the other. Now Josh is showing the staggered stance. If you need to take a little pressure off the lower back, you can have one leg in front, you can even rest that other hand on your leg if you need to. You'll do five and five, and then you're back to the squat presses. Station number three, you'll start with bear crawl down the floor with the bag here. So crawl past that bag, pull it through. Now Josh just pulled with his right hand. On the next one, he's gonna make sure to pull with his left. He's gonna take his time, crawl all the way down to the end. When you get to the straight piece of tape, You'll clean that bag up to your chest. Make sure your elbows stay up here, and you're gonna prisoner lunge back. So step forward, drive those feet together, drop down, drive up on that front knee, or front foot, I'm sorry. If you're gonna go bear crawl without the bag, you'll prisoner lunge back with your hands behind your head. So bear crawl down, prisoner lunge back for those 90 seconds. Station number four, you are gonna do some deadlifts here. So, time to challenge yourself that way, you guys. Pick something heavy that you maybe haven't done before. You're gonna drive up, squeeze those glutes, sit back, and then when you drive up, you wedge those hips forward by squeezing the glutes, blow that air out at the top, deep breath in on the way down, drive up, blow that air out. Five deadlifts, then you move that kettlebell out of the way, go down into a plank position, we're gonna do pike up, toe touches. So pike those hips up, and then back down to that plank. Notice how Josh takes his hips up, then he takes them back down, drives them back up, and just reaching for the toes. You don't necessarily have to touch them. If you want, you can do a pike up, and get a push up in, pike up, toe touch. If you do the push up in between, do five total. If you're just gonna do the pike up, toe touch, do five to each side, and then you're back to the deadlifts. Okay, and then we're moving on to station number five, where you are gonna do steer and the rower. So you get on the rower to start. You're gonna do 10 of each. We want you to take your time and make these strokes as powerful as you can. So you're gonna pull strong, drive through your heels, keep your chest up when you're coming forward so you're not rounding your back out. And notice how Josh is leaning back as he pulls, deep breath in, and then he blows that air out as he pulls here. 10 strokes, you should be anywhere between 80 and 110, somewhere around there. Then you'll get the handle in the holster and then come over to the skier, where again, you're gonna do 10 strokes. So you're reaching high, sit back, take those hands all the way behind you, up to your toes, sit back and pull. Deep breath in, blow that air out. Again, make each stroke count. In those 10 strokes on the skier, you should be very close to 100 if you're pulling nice and strong, taking your time. We're moving on to the last station. We're over here. You're gonna do power curls to start. So, using your hips, you're gonna swing those arms back and then use your hips and glutes to bring those arms up to your shoulders. Okay, so it's really a lot in the hips and glutes here. We're gonna dry up, bring those arms up to your shoulders. Okay, and then you're gonna go right into Romanian deadlift. So, this is really gonna work the hamstrings and glutes a lot. Soft bend in the knees, slide those hands down as far as you can, and then drive back and squeeze your glutes to the top. 
Notice how Josh keeps his chest up and here he has a nice flat back and he's gonna drive up and squeeze. You don't necessarily have to go all the way down to the floor, you guys. Go down as far as you feel comfortable. You'll feel a stretch in your hamstrings. Then you drive up, squeeze those glutes. You're gonna do five feet to this station. Okay, nice job, Josh. Looks like a good day.